Hello and welcome to the Daily Mill for Sunday the 20th of June 2021. Today in Mill News, not a lot going on. It's Sunday, it's two weeks before pre-season training starts and so not a lot going on. So I'm bring. I'm sorry, I've got to bring you um, the clickbait sites. Um, that's, that's the only news out there. So what have we got? We got this. So this is from footballleagueworld.co.uk. And what do they say? Uh, they say EFL club emerges favourites to be Millwall in race to sign in demand Chelsea midfielder. So we got linked a while back to Luke McCormick, who's a Chelsea youngster, but he was on loan at Bristol Rovers last season. And Alan Nixon, who he's not as good as Rich Corley in terms of what he's saying coming true, but. He does get the odd one right. So he's been tweeting about it. Because he writes for the Sunday papers, I believe. One of them. I don't know which one. But it's um, Sun on Sunday or something like that. So AFC Wimbledon have emerged as favourites to sign Chelsea midfielder Luke McCormick, according to journalist Alan Nixon. And he says, AFC Wimbledon, favourites, blah, 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 could take on a free with a sell-on. Championship clubs are not being offered that deal just now. So what's what's that all about? So League One clubs can have can sign this player for free. Chelsea's saying, "Oh, you can have him for free, but there's going to be a massive sell-on clause in the future." But the teams in the Championship they're not being offered the same terms. They have to pay a fee. That's just kind of weird. Um, I suppose. What if so? What if this? Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of restricting on this and this um, guy's future here. Like you, you, you don't want him at Chelsea. You want to let him go, and you'll let him go on a free, but only to League One or League Two team. Championship teams, no, oh no, 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 sorry, no. We don't want him and we're willing to let him go on free, but not to you. Not to anyone in the second tier. That's just um, massive disrespect to uh, one of the young, young players they clearly don't want to keep. So it's a claim that the League One club could sign the Blues youngster on a free transfer with a potential sell on clause being in place for the future, it had previously been reported that Championship side Millwall were one of the teams interested in a deal to sign McCormick heading into the summer transfer window. But AFC Wimbledon appeared to have moved ahead of them in a race to land his signature. McCormick is yet to make a first team appearance for Chelsea, and it doesn't uh, appear as though he's going to do that anytime soon with him being offered to AFC Wimbledon. He's out of contract at the end of the month, and it seems as though he's heading for the Stanford Bridge exit door. Uh, ahead of next season. Oh, so his contract's up this season. Um, like this now. So that's even more. That's even. It's even more disrespectful to him. So he could. He so he could st- still sign for a championship team. But then you'll have to go to tribunal. To. Get them to um, decide which, what the fee is going to be. So yeah, okay. So we, this is so we've got this. Uh, I don't know. Um, it seems to be he's, he's a decent prospect with a lot of potential, but he's not. Re- I don't think he's ready to rock and roll in the uh, in Mills first team anytime soon. So it's going to be one like. We'll bring him in and we'll train him up a bit. I hope that he develops a bit more. But so moving on, um, the same website footballleagueworld.co.uk, trying to spin this little that that tweet that we just seen on the other page, trying to spin that into that one story and now another story. So here you go. So three alternatives Mill could turn to after recent transfer blow. And they just basically say what we've just seen in the other story. Um, yeah, so they're basically repeating the same thing again. But now, so now they say like they link us with Sam Klukas, 
which we've we've already seen we've seen that this week. Um, Stoke are, are trying to get rid of a lot of players. They're trying to get their their wage bill down. Trying to cut costs. So that I think he'll he'll be a decent signing. Sam Klukas, um only thirty years old. And then they link us with a few that I'm, I haven't seen or heard of us being linked with before. So Flynn Downs. So there, I, there he is there. It has been said in recent weeks that Ipswich could well be looking to cash in on Downs this summer. With Mill sure to be keen on a player of his talents. The 22-year-old has been a consistent performer at Portman Road for many seasons now. He's certainly ready to step up to the Championship. Mill would inevitably face competition for his signature, so they would have to move quickly if they wanted to get a deal over the line. He would be exactly the type of player that Gary Rowe favours in the centre of the park. So all of these players, that they're quite young. And Gary Rowe said he, he, he does want to um, lower the age of the squad. That was one of the reasons for getting rid of Sean Williams and uh, Shane Ferguson. So Jack Rudoni, so Jack Rudoni, that's the geezer in the, the headband on, uh, playing for AFC Wimbledon. The AFC Wimbledon midfield is fast developing into one of the best young talents outside the championship and could be a man of interest to the Lions moving forward. Capable of playing in several different midfield positions, Rudoni has excelled under the management of Mark Robinson and Plough Lane has really taken his game to the next level. Rudoni would add some much needed creativity in the centre of the park and is capable of breaking through the lines by dribbling or making good runs off the ball. Wimbledon would undoubtedly demand a big fee for the young talent, but Mill could uh, well be keen. So it seems um, after the tweet that we've just seen in the previous story, they've just they've just like made up a couple of names. So I will. I, it's it's a clickbait website. It's a, it is what it is. Um, I'm more excited about Josh Windus, Sam Klukas, um those type of names rather than the the young name, the young lads, and I've never heard of. No offense to them. Um, maybe that's the wrong way to look at it. Maybe. The young lads have never heard of. They can come in and they can be. They can be. Amazing, but we won't know. Um. So, like I said, there's not a lot going on today. So that, that's it for the Mills news today. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.